Hi everybody, I'm Martin the Flickin' Feathers again today and I'm tying another white fly. This is Alexandra. Very, very effective pattern. This is more than stood the test of time. Um, well worth well worth having in your wet fly box from rivers and still water. So, as always, I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone who wants to support the channel get access to the members only content as well as being entered into the giveaways so I've got my hook and my vise this is a Camazan B175 size 10 but you can tie these I mean down to a 14 easy and uh, much much bigger you can tie them like big like a salmon for it in a salmon iron or as a, a a streamer or a lure, as you would say in Britain, for um, trout. You know, you can tie them up to like a size 6 or a 4 even. And they work well. So the tail, as I'm using duck, uh, scarlet duck quills. But you can use all sorts of different stuff. Um, goose, swan... I've seen marabou, floss, it's up to you, but I'm sticking with this. The original, I believe, was red ibis, which we'll not be using. Um, but any red fibre, hackle fibres if you wish. So, tail length, shank length, out the back. I've just got to offer these and I've got a right and a left slip here. Right, just like a wing. And I'm just pinching loop. and looping them onto the back there see how they sit I quite like that so we'll take a couple of wraps just to secure them and then I'll just trim away the waist, the length of the body and I'll grab my rib which is some fine silver wire I'll tie that on my side with the waist again, the length of the the body, and then I'll just tie everything up. Create a nice smooth underbody. And then the way back down, I'll catch in my body material, which is some it's a number twelve. Pencil. It's the double side at gold and silver. Obviously, I'll be using the gold side. Uh, the silver side, I should say. Just checking this. This tinsel seems to be uh, delaminating sometimes, um, which is, I mean, you get away with it. You can it doesn't damage the fly in any way, but it's a bit of a hassle when you're tying. So I'll just take that back, and again my waist on this is the whole length of the the body. I'm just going to take my thread to the front again, nice and smooth, and then I can wind this forward. Take a full turn at the back. You see, I sort of crushed crushed the tail down a wee bit there just with that wrap. Don't worry about that. That's that's okay if you do that. Just take this tinsel forward and I can see it's trying to open up on me as I feared but I've made it to the front. Come across the thread and tie it off. Trim away the, the waist. Just got to tie everything up here. And then I'll take my rib up to protect it. A full turn of the wire at the back and then tight wraps, four or five will get you up the body and a full wrap at the front. And you can come across your thread, tie that right down to the eye, keep everything nice and smooth and you can helicopter that away just the same. Hackle, black hen, I'm going to use a natural but you can use a dyed if you want. Um, I just like the slightly 
off black of the natural um, on this fly for whatever reason just to my eye it looks better it'll make no difference to it as a fishing fly quite tie this in by the tip fold that back keep your thread tight and you can just pinch that out now the hackle I'm using it's got to be quite long in the fibre um, but again that's sort of my personal taste I like it coming at least back to the point of the hook or ideally between the point and the barb um, but if you prefer a shorter hackle by all means tie that so there's about three and a half tons of this which is fine for this feather some you might need four, some you might need three up to yourself so I've just tied it in and folded the stem back and breaking it away I've just got to sweep everything back tie it in just tie the other side back and I'm going to set my head length here right about that and you can see the hackles are coming into the the barb into the gate there quite nice and we're ready for the wing now this is something that causes some folk a bit of trouble winging an Alexandra try to keep up the wings that are I don't know like cohesive right like as a single wing they often end up with the fibres all over the shop and it's cause it's usually cause folk are stripping the fibres from the sword tail and then try to tie them in but if you look You've got a right and a left, right? When you get a, when you buy these in a packet, you'll get a, at least one pair, maybe two pairs, right? Right and a left. Keep them on the keep them on the stock. And then you can trim away a segment. Right, I reckon you want something like 10, uh, 8 to 10, individual fibres, right, um, for a size 10. Right, if I was going down to a 12, I'd maybe be in the kind of, I'd be looking at like 6 to 8 kind of uh, count. So, now you just treat this like an ordinary feather wing, it's two slips, a right and a left. Make sure they're lined up. And behaving the way you want them to. and you'll get a wing kind of like this now, it'll not stay like this forever but you know, when you fish it it might open up but then when it dries it might sort of dry back in this shape and you actually get a better taper once you've fished it a bit but anyway, there you go, that's the length right, I like it just short of the, t the tail but it's up to you if you want it the same length or whatever or a bit shorter still do so just pinching looping it in, two turns just to see and I like the way that's sitting there so I'll just take another couple of turns just to secure it get one last check before I cut now I'll hold the wing and I'm going to come in, I'm going to press my hook blade again my, my scissor blade against the hook eye and trim at an angle and then I'll make sure I've got some wax in my thread and I'm going to come to the front and tie it back into the cut ends and build myself a nice wee head right. I'm just dropping that wing a wee bit just to put a wee bit of a, a wee crease just to lower the wing slightly then 
Then the last thing is just a couple of wee slips of the same duck as the as the tail. And it's the same thing, a right and a left, so we'll do my side first. A wee bit thick there. Just take a single strand away from that. It's about th two or three wide is what you're really looking for, I think, one of ten. So I'm going to offer this in on your side first. Length, I like it shorter the overall wing length. Something like that coming up into the wing. Just pinch it against the side. Couple of wraps. See how you're sitting. You can adjust it quite easily. And the same on my side. Just allow the natural curve of the feather to come in against the wing. We just look from above to make sure they're the same length, which they are. So I can tidy up, fix them in place. Trim away the waste. And then just a wee touch more wax and come to the front again. I'm just going to build up a nice neat head. Right, it's always better to tie from the front back because the thread wraps build up and the turn before supports the previous, the next one, sorry, um, which helps you to get that head shape. Hip finish and another. You can just use the wraps of the whip finish to sort of finish shaping out your head. Trim away the waist. Get your wing. But as I say, once you fish it and let it dry, it will kind of take the shape even better. But there you go. A couple of coats of varnish to make the head nice and shiny. And the fly is done. Ready to catch some fish. So I hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel. Tight lines guys, bye!